Hello, I'm David Fitzgerald from Dublin Physiotherapy Clinic. Today we're going to take a look at sports injuries and some of the aspects that are involved with diagnosis and treatment. Um, it does cover a broad spectrum of, of uh, injury from very simple sprains that might resolve uh, in a day or two. This could be a, a shoulder sprain or an ankle sprain with minimal swelling and minimal loss of function to something more significant where there is swelling and bruising, uh, significant pain on movement. Uh, and at the very severe end of the spectrum, uh, major kinds of trauma, which usually would be managed uh, with hospitalization. So, as you can see, there's a very broad spectrum of, of levels of condition. And, of course, the important thing from a clinical point of view is to define where you are in that spectrum so that the most appropriate management strategies can be, can be used. So, in general, we can look at an injury management as either uh, self-directed treatments, so self-care, or care under professional guidance. So if it is a simple type of a problem, there are a number of strategies that you can use from a self-treatment perspective. The well-known RICE principle, which means stands for rest, uh, ice, compression and elevation. So these basic principles of taking pressure off the sore area, applying ice to it, usually under some sort of a compression bandage or a compression towel and elevating the swollen part so that the swelling can drain from the area. So they are very well tried and tested um, uh, first aid treatment approaches for, for injury. They tend to be more effective when there is obvious swelling. If, if, if there isn't obvious swelling there then they are less likely to be, to be helpful. Self-medication, um, obviously over-the-counter anti-inflammatory or pain control medications can assist uh, with uh, acute management and that may be all that is required uh, to resolve symptoms. But if symptoms are persisting for uh, longer than a week it's unlikely that self-medication by itself would be a full solution to the problem. In terms of self-therapy with the internet now of course there's a huge number of options of different kinds of recommendations whether it's TENS machines which is electrical stimulation, laser therapies, uh, hot packs, cold packs, various kinds of compression devices. So there are lots of different kinds of tools available which are usually uh, commercial commercial devices so one does have to question what the, uh, what the motive is but it really comes down to trying to judge uh, whether the condition you have uh, is amenable to a simple solution or whether it needs some more professional evaluation. And that brings us to the other side of the flow chart here in terms of professional care. So if you do decide that the nature of your problem requires a more professional opinion, the question is where do you start? Do you start with a surgical review? Uh, wouldn't be the normal place to start unless you were suspicious of very serious pathology. So the question then is whether you uh, go to your general practitioner first who may prescribe stronger medication uh, or recommend that you go for scans or x-rays or to see a surgeon or for the vast majority of cases to attend for a physiotherapy assessment uh, and that's where the rehabilitation process starts. It's very important to be aware of the two general categories of sports injuries uh, and they fall into what are defined as intrinsic and extrinsic mechanisms. Now intrinsic uh, injuries occur from forces within the body um, and there usually isn't a particularly dramatic history associated with those whereas extrinsic injuries occur from something uh, that some force or situation that applies pressure from outside the body. So here we can have a look at some common examples of in extrinsic injuries where forces are applied to the body. Obviously contact sports such as boxing, soccer or rugby are common examples where uh, collisions with people or uh, twisting, falling, landing on outstretched arms, uh, going over on an ankle. These are all uh, what would be classed as extrinsic mechanisms of, of injury and they can cause damage to whatever structures happen to be involved. Um, <clears throat> So there's a, a very clearly defined history and the treatment approach there is to uh, target the, the damaged structures, quantify how severely damaged they are and what the most appropriate treatment pathway is for them. Um, that's important to differentiate from the other classification 
of uh, injury which are intrinsic which are uh, would typically inv involve something like uh, hamstring strains groin strains tendonitis in the shoulder uh, Achilles tendon problems these type of problems which are overuse issues and there's usually a gradual onset it may be tied in with variations in training regimes but more often than not there isn't a clearly definable history and the reason it's important to recognize that is that apart from treating the structures that are sore the proper rehabilitation requires more detailed analysis to understand where the system is breaking down and why pressure has been uh, exerted onto particular structures which have got sore. So that usually is a more involved kind of a process. So if you have a condition where you're treating the symptoms but aren't getting to the root of the causes, uh, that's usually an intrinsic injury which really requires uh, a detailed physical assessment. Just to put you uh, in the picture of the kinds of structures that can get injured with sports injuries, there's a, a broad spectrum, uh, bone being an obvious one, but joints, cartilage, ligaments, muscle, tendon and nerve are all other parts of the musculoskeletal system which can be involved in injury. From a treatment point of view, it's quite important to identify all of the structures that may be involved because they have different healing characteristics, they need to be managed differently in terms of the uh, intensity of, of pressure that are that is put on them uh, during rehabilitation. They have different time courses for recovery and different kinds of treatment strategies depending on, 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 on the nature of the problem. So uh, it is very important uh, that uh, a professional opinion is, is, uh, is sought if one is trying to differentiate all of these individual elements uh, that may uh, be part of a of a sports injury pattern. If we look at professional care then uh, the uh, general practitioners we refer to will either refer on for scans through uh, either x-ray or, or, or MRI scans if the condition is thought to be serious or it may just be a case of prescribing medication. Generally, the general practitioner will not be involved in more specific kind of rehabilitation uh, and guidance. That's not their area of expertise. If a surgeon is involved, then we generally are looking at a, a significant injury problem. Uh, sometimes a course of physiotherapy treatment may be tried in advance and not be successful and therefore dictate that surgery is required in other situations say an anterior cruciate rupture or an Achilles tendon rupture or a dislocation the first part of call may be a surgeon or indeed a, a bony fracture for that matter. If we look at physiotherapy uh, it really is broken down into the acute injury management and then the uh, progressive rehabilitation. So the acute min injury management first and foremost involves anti-inflammatory measures. There are a number of uh, techniques and devices and pieces of equipment that can be used to supplement anti-inflammatory and the RICE protocol which we mentioned earlier. Very important to uh, determine the uh, uh, injury profile in terms of the structures that are involved uh, in the injury and the extent of uh, disruption of those tissues because that will determine uh, whether physiotherapy is likely to be a helpful uh, intervention or whether other elements may also be involved. There's a whole combination of techniques which I won't spend a lot of time talking about here but they will involve manual therapy, soft tissue work, stretching, working on balance and control, postural correction, uh, progressing on to sports specific kind of conditioning, uh, particularly if people have uh, intrinsic injuries which have, have caused the breakdown in the system. And that obviously all requires very specific testing and selecting the most appropriate interventions. So that concludes our discussion uh, on uh, um, uh, sports injuries. I hope you found the overview interesting. Uh, if you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us here at Dublin Physiotherapy on 8829174. Bye for now.